Hello everyone and welcome to my Christmas cookbook haul. I'm sorry, I've still got a bit of a cold and a cough, so I do apologise. Uh, I was just putting together the uh, books for this and I actually realised that I hadn't got as many as I thought. So although I thought I went on a bit of a Christmas book buying spree, I obviously didn't. So, and I've actually only got one Christmas cookbook, one Christmas related cookbook. So that's a bit shocking really. But if you are any, if, any, if you are looking for any leftover gifts, any leftover <coughs> last minute gifts for the food in your life then perhaps some of these books will sort you out uh, I didn't actually introduce myself properly at the start in case this is your first video from me I'm Jo this is Jo's Kitchen and I do recipes, reviews, hauls anything foodie related so we're going to start off with the Christmas cookbook haul and I might as well start off with the actual Christmas book and I so this is Nigel Slater the Christmas Chronicles this kind of follows up with these uh, sort of, I can't remember what they were called, these diary books, you and the life kind of books. And this is like a diary book, but it starts from November to early February. So it's basically sort of just a winter diary. It is, uh, it says on the front, notes, stories and 100 essential, 100 essential recipes for midwinter. <coughs> Excuse me, there will be a lot of coffee. So, yeah. And it's, it's quite sort of wordy and to be honest you could probably take this book to bed with you and read it so it's got lots of interesting recipes so 26th of november there's a recipe for roast pumpkin with ducker and pomegranate which is quite modern and that there are some pictures in it too and yeah it's just really beautiful writing and oh i'm trying to find a slightly more Christmassy recipe or more traditional Christmassy recipe Banana cardamom cake, melt loaf. I'm not sure if that's a Christmas card, but he also goes to Germany, and uh, there are some nice, pretty German like Christmassy pictures in here as well. So if you do love Christmas, if you like the winter, and you like books to read, for, sort of foodie books to read, as opposed to just browse the recipes off, then this is a book for you. So get that one. <coughs> Excuse me. Now my next book's a little bit random, I was about to say weird, but some might, might call it that as well. Uh, this is called The Dark Side of the Spoon, and it is the Rock Cup book. And it says it features 30 illustrated rock inspired recipes. So, so just pulled it up randomly, the first page I found. And this recipe is called Smoke Had It on the Water with Deep Purple Sprouting Broccoli. So I think you can get the rock theme on that one. Let me find another one. There's a Deaf Shepherd, When Lamb and Matt Collide. So if you have got a rock fan in your life, well let's do one more because I can't uh, resist it. Iron Raisin, Rum to the Hills. And that's actually a recipe for uh, crispy rum and raisin cakes. So if you have got a friend who likes rock or a member of the family, and they perhaps like a bit doing a bit of cooking too, then this one might be one for them as well. And I quite like the fact it's quite small, be an ideal sort of stocking filler as well. So yeah, I do like rock, so I do actually quite like this cookbook. Although it is a bit corny with some of the names. Okay, the next one isn't actually a food book, it's a beer book. I actually got this because I knew Stuart would like it. It's the third edition, it's the pocket beer book. And in it, there is lots and lots of lists of beer from around the world. It tells you what type of beer you can get, where, where, where you can get it from. And it's just really interesting. So, it hasn't really got any pictures for me to show you. Except for a few sort of like beer stills or whatever. And it tells you like if you're in France that you need to go and visit the beer factory. <coughs> Excuse me. And, oh, let's go to it. It's a great Britain one. So it tells you all the, uh, tells you to try the Axe Edge Brewery in Buxton, Derbyshire. So if you have got a, a friend in your life, I'm not saying a male friend, but if you have got a friend in your life who likes beer, then get them the pocket beer book. So this would be quite useful and, uh, yet again, it's probably, probably good enough for a stocking video as well. So or just for a little extra gift for somebody who, you know, likes beer. 
and you can challenge them maybe to go and visit all the breweries that are in here. That might be interesting. Although they might ask you to pay for some of the pints. So my next one is the new Nigella Dawson one at my table to go with the BBC One cookery series that she's been going. Uh, her Christmas version was out this week, which, which I haven't actually seen yet. So, but yeah, I do quite like this book. It's uh, it's sort of classic Nigella. She did go off a bit off. It. She did go a bit off it, I think, when she did like the Italian series. I thought that was just a bit weird. But this one to me is more like classic Nigella. So look at this one: pork steaks with with the uh, port and figs. To me, that's like a classic Nigella combination that she do. It's also a sunken chocolate amaretto cake with a crumbled amaretti cream. So I do really quite like, quite like the recipes in this book. I haven't had a chance to try any yet, unfortunately. But yeah, and uh, I know there was a lot of uproar about her emergency brownies recipe. Enough brownies for two people or one very greedy person. So <coughs> excuse me. I'm hopeful when I film a video in January, I won't be coughing. So yeah, it's really good if you're a fan of Nigella or even if you're not, give it a go. Like I say, it's simple recipes that Nigella that make you feel good. Or if they made you feel good the night before, there are recipes in here to heal your soul the next day, if you're a bit hungover. So yeah, really good. Make a nice Christmas present. Yeah, this is sort of the celebrity section. Uh, the next one isn't actually another cookbook again, I know I'm cheating you here by saying this is a cookbook haul, but this is actually Mary Berry's latest cookbook, latest cookbook, latest book. It's called Mary's Household Tips and Tricks, Your Guide to Happiness in the Home. And I will be honest and say most of this isn't actually cooking and stuff, but it's full of lots of handy tips for like managing your laundry pile, what to do with your kitchen, how to clean your kitchen. And there is actually, I believe, a Christmas section in here, I'm trying to find it. Tells you how to do hospital corners on your beds, how to fix stuff, gardening. Oh, I need to read the gardening section because I'm rubbish in the garden. Cutting flowers and stuff and doing dinner parties, how to set your table, that might be useful for Christmas if you're having people around who are a bit uh, finicky about table settings. It even tells you how to make tea and coffee and what to do. And there is a Christmas section in here, I knew there was. So, and it's all about what to do, and uh, she tells you how to like make sure you order your Christmas turkey in advance and stuff. So, and there's like lots of tips to how you can actually plan and change your home and stuff. And I think there is the odd recipe in there, I just can't find them at the moment. So, this book will be good if you're a Mary Berry fan in general, I am. <coughs> or if you know somebody who's recently brought their own home perhaps, and they don't really know where to start, so... My sister brought, moved into a new house in September and I gave her a copy of this as well. So, yeah. So if you fancy something a bit different from Mary Rose this Christmas, there's that one. Uh, now these two, next two are probably for if you're planning your holiday for next year. Rick Steins had a TV series on the TV, The Road to Mexico. He started in California and made his way down to Mexico. I think he's on episode five or six now, so I think he's nearly finished. But yeah, if you're looking for somewhere to go next year, and you want some food inspiration before you go, then perhaps California or Mexico is probably the place to go. So there's slow cooked port with ancho and orange, like taco -y things. Not sure how well you can see. So we've actually had new living room furniture, and I'm still getting used to my video setup with, with the new furniture. Let's see what else I can find. Oh, oh. This sounds nice. Monkfish, mussel and prawn stew with char-grilled sourdough. Can you see it? There we go. So yeah, it's just full of lots of recipes. I mean, some of the ingredients he uses are a bit specialised. But he, at the back, it actually tells you where to get them from. There is a nice little useful section of suppliers right at the back. So, it is good if you fancy something a bit different in the new years and this book would be good for that. Or if you know somebody's actually going to Mexico to hot on holiday, then why not buy them this and they can start cooking before they go. And then the last one, this is the Hairy Bikers Mediterranean Adventure. Now, if you've watched any of my hauls before, you will know I'm a massive Hairy Bikers fan. Now, it does say with recipes from the TV series, but the TV series actually hasn't gone out yet, but they released the book. So, if you have been watching though, they have been doing this rather very good Christmas at home program 
on the BBC, which I've quite liked. It's on some random time during the day, which I can't watch. But I've been catching up on iPlayer and I really like it and I really hope the BBC do it again next year. This is really good, it's nice and informal and it just seems to match every single mood that you have throughout Christmas. And they're doing recipes for it, so it's great. What I also did, what I also was lucky enough to do with this book, was I followed the Hairy Bikers on Facebook. And they actually said, if you sign this form, you might get a book plate signed by them. And I did, so I filled in this form, so I'm not sure how well you can see it. But it says, to Joe, lots of love, sign Dave. So yeah, I was one of the hundred lucky people to get it. It was purely by chance. They didn't send me a special copy, I can assure you. I brought it off Amazon. It came in two days later than this little stickery thing that I could put in the book game afterwards too. So thank you, Sign Dave, for that. It is much appreciated and made one Harry Bikers fan very happy. So this is if you are planning on perhaps going to the Mediterranean next year. To be honest, it's a slightly random. And some of the recipes to me are a bit similar. So, you know, it starts off in Southern Italy. I'm just trying to find the contents page, if there is one. Yeah, they go Southern Italy, Sardinia, Corsica, South of France, Mallorca and Mallorca, Menorca, Southern Spain. And then rather randomly, they've put all the desserts in at the end, which is a bit weird, but we'll go with it. So... This is a Sardinian recipe. This is seared fish with fennel risotto. Looks quite nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Quiche Provencale from the south of France. And if I just skip forward to the... Uh... But yeah, some of the recipes like the Greek and Italian ones, they are a bit similarly similar in some cases, but I can't find an example at the moment. Then it goes into the desserts, which uh, are from all over the Mediterranean. So you've got Catalan Swiss roll. Not sure how well you can see the photo there. And yeah, and the sorbet, a custard tart. So which is from Spain. I always thought custard tarts came from Portugal, but I don't know. Now, I am quite looking forward to seeing the TV series for this book. So I'm just losing my cover. And what I also like at the back, they've got a basic section where it tells you how to make polenta, flash, fresh pasta, herb oil, tomato sauce, mayonnaise, chicken stock, how to chuck chickpeas and all that. And uh, what else is there? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing the TV series with this one. I have just broken the book with the cover. That's the only problem with doing these things. You always, uh, <coughs> always lose them. Excuse me. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. I'm assuming it's going to be out in January. Cause they're, unless they're going to put it on over Christmas and make everybody wish they were on holiday. So yeah. But yeah, thank you again, Harry Bikers, for starting my book for me or you know, the weird way that you did. So, that's it for today. I have been gabbing on for 14 minutes nearly, so I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, happy Christmas. If you'd like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I'd love you more if you subscribe. And I will be back again, hopefully with a Christmas grocery haul, but that'll be right before Christmas, and then I probably won't be back again until the, the new year, or near enough the new year. So, thank you very much for watching me this year. Big love and happy Christmas to you all, and bye!